Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Seeing a little bit of cloud cover out there in Lancaster as our next cold front is moving in from the northwest. We did clear out today, had some sunshine, but the wind was a factor of our Saturday, and that will be the trend yet again as we head into the latter half of our weekend. It's not too bad of a night aside from the breeze, but we're going to tap into a colder air mass behind this front compared to what we had today. We can see some flurries and snow showers out there as this front continues to sweep across the Commonwealth, and we have seen some of those getting into our far northwestern communities like uh, Mifflin and Juniata County, eastward through northern Dolphin and southwestern Northumberland County. So if you are heading out, you may see a few flakes in our northwestern communities, but that's about it. We're starting to see these really fade as they encounter some drier air. We can see the sustained wind coming in from the uh, west to northwest at around uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour, and this is going to make things feel all the more cold late tonight into early tomorrow with gusts possibly close to what 30 miles per hour as we head throughout the next 24 hours. So hold on to your hat to make sure anything out on the back patio or deck is uh, safe and secure. Not going to be blowing around out there. Temps are already in the upper 20s in Lewistown. You can see those shades of uh, reds. That's the cooler air. We're still hanging on to the upper 30s here in Lancaster. It's 37 in York. We have 38 degrees in uh, Carlisle. In terms of the wind chill, though, much worse as we awaken tomorrow. Look at these readings. Teens, it's going to feel a lot more wintry compared to spring like. And remember, spring officially starts here in just a couple of days. We'll talk more on that in just a moment. We were a little below normal today in terms of our high. We hit 49. The average is 52. Our low was a little more above average at 39 degrees with the average low for today. 33. We're going to dip below that tonight, 24 to 28. Feels like temps in the teens, as I mentioned, with that blustery wind coming in from the uh, west to northwest. Tomorrow morning, likely right around the freezing mark, feeling bitter. Teens to 20s for the feels like temps. And then for the afternoon, a little bit of improvement. We're going to have readings back into the uh, 40s and uh, I think right around 40, really. For most of us, you can see those temps tomorrow on predictor, at least starting off in the 20s after dipping uh, chilly and below uh, average. There's the clouds with this upper level low swinging through behind the uh, surface area of low pressure that moves through tonight. And with that, we'll keep the clouds around through the early afternoon. And then by tomorrow evening, high pressure is settling in. That's allowing for the clouds to clear with readings once again dipping below average as we awaken on our Monday morning. So be prepared for the uh, chill out of the bus stop. You'll want that heavier coat. I mentioned spring. We're counting it down uh, two days away. It begins Monday. That's the vernal equinox with it officially starting at 524. Our average high on Monday is 53 with our average low of 33. Now our news day storm team 10 day forecast does show temperatures warming back above average, back close to 60 on Tuesday, plenty of sunshine. Then we become unsettled with a chance of showers late Wednesday into Thursday, monitoring a couple different systems. It looks like we have a better chance of rain Friday into the first half of next weekend, and then we become a little more near normal for this time of the year with another chance of rain, Jared, by Monday. We're looking forward to it. Thank you.